All right, so today we're going to be talking about capacitance. It's pretty kind of basic topic. It's a very, very basic equation starting off with. Um, capacitance, really, if we have two plates really, you know, pretty close to each other, um, we can store charge on the plates. Um, in this case, represented by the capital letter Q there. Um, so this will be the charge stored on the plates. Typically, that's going to be measured in coulombs. Keep in mind, this C and this C are totally different. Uh, that charge stored on the plates, uh, if we divide it by the potential difference of voltage between the two plates, make that a capital V, that will give us capacitance. Really, capacitance is how many coulombs per volt there are, or since why not name things after physicists, it's also called a farad. Um, that's just a unit for capacitance. Uh, it becomes pretty useful here. That's not the question I want. That is. Um, so it allows us to kind of figure out certain questions like, the one at the bottom there, a 0 0.75 microfarad capacitor. All right, so let's even go through and do this. Like, So microfarads, that's giving me capacitance. So that is 0 0.75 microfarads. Chances are I'm not gonna be able to leave it in microfarads. So let's go ahead and convert that. That's micro means times 10 to negative six farads okay so that capacitor is charged to a voltage of 16 volts so v is equal to 16 volts what's the magnitude of charge okay sort it on the plates so we're looking for q in this case well in this case so if i've got c equals q over v i need to get q by itself because that's what i'm looking for so some basic algebra tells me Multiply both sides times V. That's going to cancel that. The charge is equal to the capacitance times the voltage. So in this case, I just need to plug these numbers in. So I've got 0 0.75 times 10 to the negative 6 farads times 16 volts. Take out my handy dandy calculator here. So I've got. 0.75 times 10 xy 6 negative times 16 equals 0 0.1 all right bring this over here i got 0 0.0000, 000 one, two, and that'll be coulombs. Or if I want to get really fancy, I move my decimal one, two, three, four, five, six, or 12 micro coulombs. You know, I would accept either answer. Uh, I personally like to keep my prefixes, you know, the same as possible. So if this is in microfarads, chances are that's in micro coulombs. And microcoulombs is how most of my practice problems have been dealing with charge anyway, so I would probably leave it uh, microcoulombs there. All right, so that's a basic use of capacitance. Um, where it gets to be really useful is when I start kind of substituting in, using this capacitance, you know, solving for things like um, voltage, stuff like that, because I can then plug them back into a couple of other equations. Like for instance, if I know like the strength of electric fields is equal to uh, the negative, uh, essentially potential difference divided by distance, I know that voltage is equal to the negative electric field times distance, okay? I can plug that in for V down there, or I can solve for V and plug that in for the electric field thing. Uh, the other place where I could see that is there's a potential energy equation that states that the potential energy is equal to one half charge times voltage. Well, once again, 
you know, trying to use this whole capacitance thing, chances are I'm either going to know the charge, the voltage, or the capacitance, or if I, you know, I'm going to know two of these three, so I can just solve for the one I'm missing, whether it's charge, voltage. I can plug it into this potential energy problem and figure out how much potential energy that capacitor kind of has on it. And then from there, I know how much work could that do. Well, when that potential energy becomes work, it's just switch the sign on it. Um, so starting off, really, really basic, basic equation. It's a three-variable equation. But when I start looking into how do I kind of substitute things in for charge or substitute things in for voltage, that's where this equation becomes a lot more useful. It also makes your math a lot more complicated than just a three variable question. Uh, anyway, that should be enough to get you started. Uh, good luck on the practice problems.